All right, you guys up? Can you hear me? I can hear you. All right. No. Seth, have you ever heard of a guy called Rich Brinkley? Uh, no. John, have you ever heard of Rich Brinkley? Uh. That's no. No? no? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Rich Brinkley is an American actor. And I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it top five and five. You guys got right now, five minutes. You guys have five minutes. Does Mara get to participate? If she can help you out. Like Seth, do you know how the top five and five works? No. You have five minutes once we start to find Rich Brinkley. Go ahead and look up Rich Brinkley. The top, yeah, he's an actor. The top, your top five things that you think Rich Brinkley did. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll edit all this stuff out, like for the YouTube, because this is uh this is the top five and five. I don't get I don't get how I'm supposed to do something based on that. Like you can ask me like my top five Barbie dolls. No, man. Like we we said the top five and five, we can do any of the things. So Rich Brinkley, like we're gonna do five minutes. Once you guys tell me that you guys are ready, that you guys have figured it out, like we're gonna do the research. Like I'm I'm getting pretty close to go ahead and starting the timer now. Once you guys. Tell me that you've figured it out, like who Rich Brinkley is. Rich oh, Brinkley. Well, he's, he's a an porn actor. Star. Sabrina the Teenage Witch. All right, so all right, so Seth is he's he's on IMDb, he's hmm. figured it out. Like Hi hey, Mara, do you know who Rich Brinkley is? Doesn't matter, you gotta look it up, man. Top five and five. Top five you know and five. Who Sabrina the teenage witch all is. Alright, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and uh he- all right, Seth. Yeah. You, you need to start making a top a, a one through five list yeah, honey, right now. All right, hey, kill kill your mic, uh, John. Kill it. What am I supposed to do? So Murphy Brown. Yeah, no, you don't tell me. But like, we're gonna do like it's a top five list from five down to one, whatever his best movie was or best show, like Rich Brinkley. Oh. Like this is uh, oh. our thing, so w- we have five minutes to make a f- a top five list. Okay. Oh, so I know what my number one is. Five. Does my mic still work? Okay. It does, but hold number on. Number one is. Uh, yeah. All right, stop. All right. Five minutes is starting now. Do research. I'm muting. Mute. All right. Top five. Top five. Top five. Top five in five. Rich Brinkley, like best stuff. Yeah. 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 So I. Are you going? Are, time, are you going first? Time up. Is time up? Are you going first? All right. Yeah. Time's yeah, I, up. I, yeah. We just. We just. Yeah. We just hit times up. Well, top five. Okay. My number five is blank. All right. Next. All right. Seth, All right. what do you got? What do you got for number five? Number five, X-Files. Oh, yeah. He was in X-Files, huh? <laughs> he just sealed it. What episode? <laughs> uh, from 1993 to 2002, Brinkley had a guest role in the science fiction television series, The X-Files. He played <laughs> the role of a man who was abducted by aliens in episode Home. <laughs> All right, that's number five. I'll, I'll go with my number five. Uh, it was Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> you remember? There you go. Remember that? I think it was on uh, USA Network. Was that on think, USA? Yeah. It was, was like that? uh That was like the nighttime soap opera. <laughs> so dumb. I think my sister watched that. Yeah, that's the one. It's a guy with the. Yeah. Oh, it was with, the Beast. Oh, it was. It was um, the lady from Terminator was in it. Yeah, Linda Linda Hamilton. Linda Hamilton. Yeah, yeah. She was the beast. Yeesh, have you seen her lately? <laughs> is she is she the beast? She looks more like the beast. <laughs> 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 All 
All right, John, uh, number number four. What's your number four? Yeah, number four is blank. <laughs> All right, Seth, number four. Breakdown, 1997. Brinkley had a supporting role in the thriller film Breakdown. He played the role of the police officer, Officer Kennedy. I n- you know, I never watched Breakdown. <laughs> you ever, wa- you ever watched Breakdown, John? Nope. Seth, have you ever seen Breakdown? I could nope. not have been. I could not have been un more unfamiliar with a list of movies that I had to pick from. All right, or TV shows, or or shows. But I'm trying not to mention something that had like one episode. So any, so say. anyways, it, so anyways, as we get to the end of the list, remind me about breakdown. But yeah, you didn't say how we could generate these answers, so I might have a little card up my sleeve. Top top five and five, my friend. Okay. All right. Is is it my turn? Your turn. Uh, Scarecrow, and Mrs. King, like <laughs> remember that one. Oh, dude, me and my mom used to watch Scarecrow and and Mrs. King all the time. Could I could not tell you anything about the show like right now besides like I think there's a there's a spy and there's a a middle aged uh, yeah, she made him middle aged. There was like a housewife and the spy oh, wow. and they're and they're like solving crimes they're doing stuff this was like 80s 90s like stuff so apparently oh, rich wow. brinkley was in that he was in that and i never heard of that yeah what? so yeah interesting that's my number know. four so number three john what do you got number three number three i'm gonna say number three not, and, a, not a blank it's not oh, a blank no oh, it's not a blank and, and and it really, and I don't know. The only reason I even mention it's because I used to watch this as a kid. But Walker Texas Ranger, he was in one episode. It said, "Oh really?" And I couldn't, I couldn't tell you what it was. So I don't know. That's why I didn't put it number two. Which, by the way, is going to be blank. So all right, <laughs> what the... there you go. All yeah. right, all right, Seth. What do you got for number three? Number three, Cabin Boy. 1994, Brinkley had a supporting role in the comedy film Cabin Boy. He played the role of the ship's cook, Cookie. <laughs> Have you heard of Cabin Boy? <laughs> Have you heard of that one? Uh, yeah, the the movie. Oh, really? Yeah, I've never heard of this stuff. So, yeah, he, uh, Rich Brinkley wasn't the yeah he wasn't the cabin boy though. No, he was the ship's cook, Cookie. Yeah, That's he was. Let's let's keep going. Yeah, all right. So, so mine mine for number three, uh, Night Court. Like I don't I don't know what episode of Night Court he was on, but no way. You know, hey man, I I I like Night Court, and Rich Brinkley was in it, so that was my number three. So now, now down to number two, John. What do you got for number two? Unfortunately, number two is also blank. <laughs> it's like the, they're, it's how, the, how, how, do, how do you have, how do you have here's my number one here's my number three <laughs> because number three the reason I did number three Walker Texas Ranger is because I watched it as a kid but I also watched like Xena Warrior Princess as a kid and Hercules and I went back oh and god. watched it again I'm like oh my god this is horrible it is yeah it's so you absolutely so you, horrible so you wouldn't put it as number 2 I, I couldn't it just felt wrong and I I don't know if Walker Texas Ranger was as bad as like Xena or what I haven't watched it again you know it was Walker Roundhouse kick to the face Texas Ranger yeah I, Sheriff Nathan I just it felt wrong putting it number two, so I left number two blank. Uh, All right, Seth, what do you got for number two? Number two, did we already say Murphy Murphy Brown? I don't no, know so. no. Murphy Brown, ten you years. Got Murphy Brown. Oh wow! Yeah, I remember that one? That's an old one. Little Candace Candace Bergen action, Bad right? Shoot. Yeah, right. Candace Bergen. Played the role of counterman Carl Wisnitsky, and he was a recurring cast member for the first five seasons, and a regular cast member for the last three seasons. That was like his biggest role. It looks like, or like his longest. 
I didn't. I didn't. Even, sure I didn't put Murphy Brown. Like, I guess that I was like, it popped up on uh, IMDb. Murphy. Uh, twenty-eight episodes. He he did twenty-eight episodes of Murphy Brown. According to IMDb, yeah. Oh man, that's crazy. I need to go watch Murphy Brown now. Isn't that about like some lady in the TV news or something? I don't know. Yeah, Cand- Candace the... Bergen. She's running the news. Like, oh yeah, there's a bunch of shoulder uh... pads. <laughs> yeah, it was the '90s or '80s, oh, yeah. '80s and '90s. Yeah. Yeah. Big like, hair. yeah. All right. Uh, my number two. Now I feel bad. Like, not really, because I think I know, but maybe not. Anyways, amazing stories. The Spielberg did this. It was TV oh, show. Yeah. TV show. It was a great show. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, man, I'm pretty sure that I know which show yeah. that he was in, but I didn't really look it up, like, uh, which which one Brinkley was in. But it was, uh, oh, Pumpkins. It had something to do with Pumpkins. I'm pretty sure he was in the oh. Pumpkin one. They're, they're, they're growing big pumpkins. You guys he remember this? Chester A. Barnesworth. Was that a Disney movie? Yeah, was yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With, 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 was it? Was it with? Yeah. W- the pumpkin comp- Oh no, sorry. The pumpkin competition. Yeah. All right. All right. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Amazing. Oh, I'm thinking of James and the Giant Peach. Never mind. It was. Yeah. <laughs> it was season. Sorry, it was fake news. It was season three, episode ten, I think. I'll, I saw. Yeah. Either way, I'll take it. Because it was yeah. pumpkins, and he was amazing in it. That was yeah. my number two, you Season know. Season two, episode ten. Season S- two, episode ten. Sorry. All right, number one. All right, so my number one deserves the place of number five, number four, really probably number three, number two, and number one. And if there are an S rank, it belongs on there as well. And all my honorable mentions. And uh, Seth almost ruined it for me, I think, in a way. But it's Cabin Boy. Ah, nice. Yeah. What? I love that movie. I've never seen it. Easily deserves number one. He's the captain. Of the boat. Was he not the captain? He's like the old captain, captain, I'm pretty sure. I think I'm ruining it for Pat, too. (laughs) But, yeah. I don't know, man. That that movie we sat up. Me and um, our Jared and Jordan would sat sit up and watch that movie like three, three, four times in a night. It would just watch on a loop. We'd all I would fall asleep watching that movie on a loop. So it has has a little bit of a it has a special place. And uh, the movie was a great movie anyway. But you know, also when you watch it, is it? It's like a a movie that none of your friends even know about. Nobody talks about, but it's an incredible movie, and you feel like you got a little, you got a little something that nobody knows, a little secret, you know? Like, hey, let me show you a movie real quick. And everybody's like, I've never seen, like, you couldn't do that with Star Wars or something. Everybody already knew about it. Cabin Boy? No, you just, you pull that out as like a party trick, you know? And you show your friends, and they're like, where have you been all my life? What a funny movie. What a great movie. And it wasn't like super high production value or anything like that, but it was just so good. I didn't watch that now. And I, I'm i overselling it right now, so if somebody goes and watches it, they're going to be like, man, this is all right. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm overselling it, and, and I, I know I am, and it, it's all right. I'm going to ruin it for anybody, the, the three people watching this. So but These oh well. pipes are clean! Yes, and, and of course, you've got a few things from that movie that you can... Uh, that that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to keep going too hard on it because I don't want to ruin it for Pat. Wow, <laughs> you're not ruining it for me. <laughs> All right, Seth, what's your number one? All right, so I think we already said uh, Beauty and the... So my number one... <laughs> you're making... Is... Hold on, you're making your list no. now? <laughs> like, <laughs> no, it is what it is. Seth, it doesn't matter. You, like, oh, I gotta shit, hold... I got to make a list. <laughs> I have a... Uh, well, I have a, uh, I have a helper, if you will. So, oh yeah, here. Let me let me show you. Here's how to make a list. Here, here, I'll, so, sh- I'll show you. Here, here, here's my, here's my is, helper. There's my list right like, there. Like I, I had a. <laughs> you see my no, list? I, there? Uh, you didn't say how we could do this, so I yeah. went to. Hey, uh, hey, Pat, you AI see my platform. list? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I used an AI platform, and I said, "Hey, 
what are the top five things that Rich Brinkley from Beauty and the Beast was in? And uh, and it spit out five answers. I don't know if they were right. I know. No, it, it, right. yeah, but you're not the AI. It's like what? Oh. <laughs> He's just reading off like. <laughs> so uh, that's why Chat GPT <laughs> says I yeah, must Chat. cut my wiener off. Uh, Google, what are my top favorite so, movies? But here, here, <laughs> one. That everyone probably remembers from the 90s. So is this your number one? Is this your I number one? Number one. On that it's list, number one. one. Number Pick one. Favorite. Number one. Twin no, Peaks, what? 1990. He was in two episodes of Twin Peaks. Do you remember yeah. him? And Do you remember those episodes? I think I was too young. I was eight years old. Then how could that be your number one? Well, because I remember the TV show. I remember the TV show. Have you seen Cabin Boy? I have not seen Cabin Boy. I need to add that to my list. How, have you, how is that your number how are, three? How are you alive? I don't know. Because the AI told me. It, it told me to chop my wiener off, so I did that too. <laughs> my number three movie of all time? Cabin Boy. I plan on watching it next week. <laughs> Uh, uh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the AI told me to drive off the cliff, so I did. You know, it's like that episode in The Office where he it's a, hey it told me to turn to the reservoir, so I drove into the reservoir. Like that's where right, I, I got I got to explain tomorrow what's going on right now. <laughs> so we we do top five and five, and five minutes we have to pick out our top five of anything. Like right now, it's some actor that Pat just pulled up and now we got to look up and what were the favorite movies which i think is kind of too niche of a topic a better topic would have been pat top five songs top five you know movies whatever and you have five minutes to go through your your brain and write them all down I well cheated. seth here the top guy on the top left just <laughs> google's top five movies but no i used and, ai i used, used google bard well he says he used ai and and I'm like, have you even seen Cabin Boy? Have you seen? He hasn't even seen him, and he's got him on his top five. So that's why most of mine came up blank because I haven't seen any of them. So that's what's going on here right now. We're doing top five. I was gonna see if you want to participate, but I don't even know who the heck. I mean, I know who the guy is, but I wasn't. I'm not familiar with his movies except for Cabin Boy, which by far deserves number one. By the way, hmm? <laughs> have you haven't seen Cabin Boy? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen what it oh, I'll like. show you. Like, We're gonna watch fuck? Cabin Boy too. Okay. Have you seen? Have you seen uh, Trolls Two? He's dead now. <laughs> so, so is that uh, your guys' number one? Yeah. Pat's think, gonna be I Cabin think... Boy. Hmm. Uh, what's your number one? Here's a movies he was in. So that's what I had gotta, to take from. We gotta. We gotta. We gotta stop while. Are we ready for my number one? Well, number one comes from the PP. All right. All right. Number one, uh, Rich Brinkley. Oh. Uh, it's. Which one would you be your favorite? None of them. What was it, Pat? Nothing. We're we're waiting on you guys. Oh, uh, I was waiting for her to pick a number one, but she has. She said nothing. Now we're 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 waiting on you guys. Are you guys done like talking into your your mic? Are you well, done? I hey, I'm I can't hear out of that ear. So when I'm doing that, I am disabled. <laughs> disabled. And, and it's not sleep apnea. It's a real problem. It's a real. Here's a. Okay. So are we are we are we good? Yeah. All right, my number one Rich Brinkley uh, film of all time uh, is Cabin Boy. <laughs> like, Did we already say? I thought, oh, that was your number one for yeah. Your list. Got no, it, it was okay. my yeah. My number one oh. is Cabin Boy. Like, dude, like Rich Brinkley and Cabin Boy, amazing. Like, just to the point when I met Rich Brinkley in person, because I guess you guys already alluded to it. When like, uh, cause I was like managing a movie theater and Rich Brinkley like came in, and he, he was really like, went into the theater. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause he would review movies. He'd review movies, and he was like, "Hey, uh, 
He's like, hey, I'm a movie reviewer, and I, you know, do you mind if I come in and review this movie, like, for free? And I was like, yeah, okay, whatever, man. He was like, well, hey, I, he's like, I've done a bunch of movies, and I do all this stuff. And I was like, oh, really? You've been at a bunch of movies? And he was like, yeah, yeah, I've, I've done these movies, and I am giving, I, I'm being such a jerk to him. Well, because because I hear all that it's Crestview. I've heard all the shit before, all of it. But I was like, I don't have time for this, you know. And I was like, all right, yeah. What well, what movies you been in, you know? And he's like, well, you know, I was I was in Cabin Boy with Chris, is it Chris O'Donnell or whoever. He was like, oh, I was in that movie and Chris they, Elliott. Chris Elliott. Chris Elliott. Yeah. yeah. He was like, oh, I was in that movie with Chris Elliott, and he started like naming off like you know the man with one red shoe or the woman with red red shoe. With it. Oh, and I, and I remember I'm like looking at him, and I was like, wait a minute, wait, hold hold on a second. Uh, and I remember like I was like, you're in Cabin Boy, and he was like, yeah, I was the captain. I was like, holy shit, because I at that time, I mean, this is like the late nineties, yeah. like. I loved Cabin Boy. <laughs> I, 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 you know, like I had watched Cabin Boy a few times, and I remember I was like, "Holy shit, man! I know who you are. Like, yeah, you can come in here whenever you want, man." <laughs> and he did. Whenever we, every week, like, oh, oh, Rich would come in. We'd we'd sit there and talk for a bit, you know. Da da. Anyways, when I went to j- go join the military, like I, I bought like a DVD of. Uh, cabin boy and i like gave it to him I was like hey rich you mind signing that and he was like man not a problem well he didn't just sign it he wrote like a essay on wow. uh, on it and i felt so bad he wrote it on the plastic is the problem of of you know i, I gotta get it sealed up because it's slowly starting to deteriorate as opposed to him writing on the on the yeah. paper but damn man rich brinkley that's awesome that guy right there is a solid fucking dude like yeah people in like hollywood like they need to be like more like rich brinkley because that guy fucking was a cool fucking dude who sat there and like he talked to me wrote me a fucking essay on like and you know like uh the dvd you know he was like oh pat you know you do this in the military life da da da. you do it like i mean he wrote a whole story on the cabin like the Cabin Boy DVD has an entire story written you by like. Uh, can, we, can we see it? Do you have uh, it yeah, I don't. I, I don't know where it's at. I wish I, I. I. I was like looking for it before. It's like sealed up, you know. You know. Yeah. So no one it's can see it. Bags. Yeah, but like, and I didn't. I didn't realize until John's brother told me. I guess it was about a year ago. John. John's brother told me that he had died. Oh damn! And I was he like, died a while ago, 2015. The, uh, no shit. Yeah. See, like I, you know, I've been uh, like, oh, you know, oh, 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 rich. That's crazy. Man. Uh, did that did he live in Crestview? Yeah, I he think he. Have. No, he lived up in. Well, shit. Maybe he did. Like I thought it was up in like uh, Niceville or something. Why would he go to the Crestview Theater though? If he lived in Niceville. But Wait, again, why are you time, asking so many questions, John? Well, no, but it makes sense though, because at the time. The, he, he had that one theater in Niceville, and it was kind of a piece of crap. Not that the Crestview Theater wasn't E2, but... Plus, they probably wouldn't let him in. <laughs> well, you let yeah. him in. <laughs> <laughs> like, once, I, once I discovered who it was, like, dude... Oh, no, I know. And it was, it, was, it was a good, like... It was a couple years, man. Like, I'm pretty sure, like... Oh, Rich coming up, man. I love Rich. I love Rich Brinkley. Well, the rest yeah. of us got to see movies for free, though, too. You just couldn't get, you know, weren't supposed to get concessions. So he was like family. You're like, oh, yeah, he's a family uncle. <laughs> everyone, everyone got stuff for free. But Rich Brinkley, love that dude. Awesome That's dude. Awesome. Uh, that movie was produced by Tim Burton. Another famous dude. <laughs> you know Tim Burton, right? Tim Burton. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, it's a pretty big name movies. But yeah, he was a producer on the uh, Cabin Boy. I don't know. If... No shit. Uh, Tim Burton did like Cabin Boy. According to uh, IMDb, yeah, he was a uh, he was a producer. That's ridiculous. <laughs>